everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Drake has been accused of breaking up a happy home, y'all. According to It's On Site on Instagram, Drake invited over a singer named Naomi Sharon and her fiance of eight years, Jamie Sun, over to his house to work on some music with her. Drake hung out with Jamie Sun. They both were in the gym together and they seemed to be pretty friendly. But little did Jamie know, Drake was smashing his fiance, Naomi Sharon. Now I'm gonna say allegedly because we don't know this to be true or not, but Jamie did break off his engagement and he made this post on Instagram saying this, imagine having the most beautiful, supportive and faithful relationship eight years long with an engagement and a wedding planned, a beautiful woman on your side as a ride or die. Then this major opportunity comes and a world star calls your fiance to sign a record deal flies you both over then out of nowhere all the trust is vanished with knives in your back and in your heart imagine but also imagine the power of the universe that is sending love and greatness to me in an astronomical and most spiritual way imagine now drake did make a cryptic post on instagram and in his caption he said without remorse now he might have been subbing jamie who knows once again, I don't know if this is true or not, but if there is truth to this story, I have to say Drake and the fiance are foul, 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 foul. And this story to me is not too far-fetched because I have heard rumors about Drake messing around with women who are in relationships with other men. So this story to me is not completely unbelievable, but I will say Drake is playing a dangerous game because he never knows how some of these men will react. Let's just say that he did sleep with Jamie's fiance. If he truly slept with her, he's lucky that Jamie didn't retaliate against him because there are some men out there who would have reacted a lot differently. So Drake has to be careful out there. He can't allow his lust to rule him because it could potentially lead him to his demise. Anyway, moving on to the next topic, Tiny Harris and her ex-friend Shekinah Joe got into it on social media. Now, for those who don't know what's going on, Tiny and Shekinah fell out after Tiny and her husband T.I. were accused of violating multiple women. These allegations came out after a woman named Sabrina Peterson put them on blast and used her platform to help the alleged victims get their story out. Now, Shekinah attempted to defend T.I. and Tiny against Sabrina, but she only made the situation worse when she claimed that Sabrina was helping T.I. and Tiny traffic girls. She has a problem. She ain't talked about nothing about how she <laughs> to me can tell. I said what I said. <laughs> Why she ain't told y'all about she wanted the women who used to go recruit the bitches for them to What's up? Hey. <laughs> hey, now they got a real seat. Now, when Shekinah said this, she only made the situation worse for T.I. and Tiny because she basically put it out there that they were recruiting girls to sleep with. And Shekinah actually had to backtrack on her statement. And this only made things even worse because this gave Sabrina enough leverage to sue her for defamation. I don't know Sabrina and Tiny and they friendship because when they, they weren't friends when I came around. I cannot say that Sabrina recruited nobody for them because I don't fucking know. I know that because Willie said that shit. I'm crying because it's hurtful, friend, buddy. I heard what Willie said. Willie, her friend, he said she recruit her. I don't know. I don't know her. So when Shekinah came forth and backtracked on what she said, she got pulled into this whole legal mess with T.I. and Tiny. Now in the midst of all of this mess, Shekinah and Tiny fell out because Shekinah was talking too much. And that's the last thing T.I. and Tiny need because they are currently facing some serious allegations. So Tiny had to cut ties with Shekinah and Shekinah did confirm that they no longer were friends during her live on Bego. She also claimed that she hardly got paid for doing Tiny's hair during all the years that she worked with her. And she also talked about getting kicked off of T.I. and Tiny's reality show. And she even revealed that Tiny was the one who encouraged her to make those claims about Sabrina Peterson. I worked for the bare minimum, okay? I didn't start getting money till I got on sets where the, the networks to pay me, okay? Working for BET, I would get a hundred 
$150 a day to work on set. $150. I don't think y'all understand $150. Because I didn't have my license and they knew that. You know what I'm saying? They knew that. I could have got more money, but nobody never fought for me to get no more money. They fought for me to get what I got. Okay. Then I went and got my license. Now these these companies, these networks, they can't play with me. Giving me no one fifth of them all. And I don't want to be friends anymore. And I don't want to be friends anymore. I wish her the best, though. I love her. Okay? <laughs> I even got kicked off TV because motherfuckers were saying I made they show. I would never run around and say I made the show. How could I say that? How could look ghetto me feel like I made the show? When I got kicked off TV, my whole soul hit the ground. Because I couldn't understand what I did to get kicked off a show. And I ain't did nothing but kiss that ass a bit nice on. Kick me out that motherfucker. Motherfucker say I ain't know how to act with money. Shit hurt my heart. So damn. So look, y'all, I turned around and I got kicked off TV, right? Then I end up fucking with an abusive relationship. <clears throat> then I watched every friend I had turn on me for tiny. And I had to be quiet. And I had to move around like this shit didn't bother me. I say, yeah, they trashing my name. And that's why I didn't understand. And I'm going to say this. I didn't appreciate this. This is my last straw for her. When I made that comment about her, I was in, she was in a room with me. Motherfucker was sitting right there with me. She the one telling me what to say. And then when all y'all in America go crazy on me, my own supposed to be free and sit there and let y'all take me down. Knowing I ain't got shit to do with none of that shit she got going on. She let y'all. She let the world tear me up. That's what I said. You know what? I done did your half for free. I done kissed your motherfucking ass. I done been there for you. You done took all my old friends. Now they your best friends because y'all pay attention. I got to do it. Pay attention. I watched this shit. I watched my friend from second grade turn her fucking back on me for fame. What? I still was cool. Still didn't go crazy. Y'all still ain't never seen me go to Wendy Williams and tell a story. Y'all still ain't never heard of me on no radio station telling the story, but this shit right here, this shit will hit a little different, see? This shit right here hit a little different. Then this woke me up to let me know, this girl don't f with you. You sitting here and telling me what to say about this guy. Like, I don't know nothing about, nothing about nobody. And then you sit there, and when the world take me down, you let me go out with these motherfuckers. You don't even say, hey, man, it went Shakana. Shakana ain't had shit to do with that shit. I just... But get what? The reason I took up for them folk like that, because when that hoe bought my name, I wish somebody would have took up for me like that. You know what I'm saying? Me taking myself, speaking up for somebody, because I wish they would have spoke up for me, and God turned around and whooped my ass. Said, how many more times I got to show you that this girl don't with you? How many more times I got to show you? So he showed me for the last time, and I ain't got to worry about it no more, because he showed me. It already done passed. That's why I can talk about it to y'all, because it done passed. I just wanted y'all to still know, like, Friends for so long. Friends, how? That girl husband ain't never really liked me. You got to stop being stupid. We were friends, but it was friends from a distance. I, I, I was willing to stay away from her to make her her husband be able to be happy. That husband ain't never gave a fuck about me. He never cared for me. He probably be, he tried to be nice to me in the end, but he ain't never gave a fuck about me. And I ain't do nothing to that man. I ain't never tried to hook his wife up with nobody. I always told him to stay married to stay down and, I ain't got no problem with nothing to fuck. I'm just letting y'all know, like, at the end of the day, baby, <laughs> stop playing with me. Yeah, he called me a muzzle rat. He got a son. You get on muzzle rat. Stay on that porch, you get on muzzle rat. I couldn't believe this. But that's in the past. I forgive him for that. I forgive her. So that's what Shekinah had to say. And once again, I feel like Shekinah was talking way too much. For her to say that Tiny was the one who put the battery in her pack to go up against Sabrina was pretty messy. And once again, it just makes things look bad for T.I. and Tiny. Now, Tiny actually addressed what Shekinah said under the Neighborhood Talks post on Instagram. She said, y'all can believe this Dizzy B if you like. Why the F would I ask her to say what she said? True enough, she wanted to speak up for me as a friend. And I appreciate that, but I never ever told her to say any of that stuff she said. That's on my life and everything I love. She wrote me a book and said people don't need to know, but yet going on live talking about me daily, 
worst kind of friend to have. If we not cool, we not cool. Move on as I have quietly. It's a shame I'm addressing this BS now. Just sick of all the lies. Day after day, I will forever wish her nothing but the best still. It's sad when close friends turn to enemies, but God has his way and I won't question him. Somebody responded to Tiny and said, Tiny, please don't tell me you sold your soul because you sounding liar-ish. Why you mad, LOL? Tiny said, why do I have to lie though? It's not like what she did helped me in any way. I'm too old for this stuff for real. To be beefing with a friend on social media, this is some attention seeking stuff. She always do. You guys would never know we wasn't speaking or any of this if it wasn't for her emotional self. There were other people in the room when she said what she said, if we really need to prove who's lying. Shakana hopped on Instagram live and addressed Tiny and this is what she said. I just know damn well one thing about it and two things for sure. I ain't got no reason to lie about shit. Everything I say is a hundred and I can prove it. And it is what it is and what it's gonna be. I ain't no Instagram doing shit. Yeah, she called me dizzy. You heard her call me a dizzy bitch? Who the fuck? That ain't even her talking though. That's somebody else talking for her. Like, they're not even her talking. That's not even her. Like, she don't need you, dizzy bitch. That's another bitch around her lingo. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's the shit that deep to me. So you done let another lame ass talk you into calling me a dizzy bitch. And I ain't never disrespect you not one time. Like, come on, man. She called me a dizzy bitch in her comments. It's cool, though. So that's what Shekinah said in response to Tiny. And like I said before, I feel like Shekinah talks too much. I'm not saying that she doesn't have a right to feel the way she feels about her friendship with Tiny, but none of this had to be aired out like this on social media. And I don't think Shekinah understands the gravity of the situation that Tiny and T.I. are in right now. For her to say that Tiny encouraged her to go off on Sabrina like that only made things worse for Tiny. Sabrina sued T.I. Tiny and Shekinah because of what Shekinah said. And Shekinah has been scrambling to save herself. She first put the blame on Willie for telling her that Sabrina helped T.I. and Tiny recruit girls. And now she's putting the blame on Tiny for telling her to say what she said. And listen, it's possible that Shekinah may have felt emboldened to speak out against Sabrina because Tiny was in the room. I think if Tiny didn't want Shekinah to say what she said, she should have stopped her when she had the chance, but she didn't. She allowed Shekinah to go off and when it backfired, she left Shekinah hanging and I don't think that was right. However, none of this would have happened if Shekinah did not open her big mouth. She only has herself to blame for involving herself in T.I. and Tiny's business. I understand that she wanted to defend Tiny, but look at how that turned out. It backfired. So next time, Shekinah needs to mind her business. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.